it's Tina and I'm back and it's time to talk some smack about some new beauty snacks it's I don't have a word to rhyme with it but I wanted to talk to you guys about some recent launches that are just straight up foolishness okay these are five nonsense launches and I wanted to get your feedback on these launches what do you think because I can't be the only one thinking this way actually I'm not because I've heard feedback on a cup no just one of these things that I was just like cracking up because people went in on this brand so we're gonna talk about five launches that make absolutely no sense so let's start out with the first one and the one that most people agree with me on this was straight nonsense and this brand got so much flack for this launch it's hilarious so we're talking about the Mac cosmetics and Sims collaboration what the hell what the hell is this look at this oh my god so the Sims is a video game right I've never played it I don't care about it it's very popular. I know people are at home right now, so they're looking for some entertainment. Okay, it was Animal Crossing, and now it's The Sims. I think it's some, there's something else going on. Listen, I don't play these things, okay? I play Candy Crush. But anyway, The Sims and Mac decided to team up. Of course, Mac was like, oh my god, we gotta get on this right now because The Sims are popping. We're gonna do a collaboration, and it's gonna sell out because everybody loves The Sims. And then they gave us this. What in all... <laughs> What in the name of Ashdom is this? Oh my god, so the outer packaging is beautiful. It's blue, it has Sims colors. Everybody's like, oh my god, this is gonna be so stunning. And then they opened the palette and it was just, <laughs> it was dust. It was dust. It was gray tone neutral dust. So this is one of their nine pan palettes. Come to find out it's actually a relaunch of their solar glow times nine palette so it's not even a new palette at all it's just a re-promoted palette from yesteryear what the hell is this what was mac thinking oh my god they missed an opportunity here to give us like bold colors a fun color story instead they gave us this ashy palette are they serious <laughs> Everybody was roasting Mac. They're like, what the hell is this? First of all, you gave us this packaging that was bright and fun and we were like, yeah, this is gonna be it. And you come up with this, you come up with this Mac. What is this foolishness? I can't stand it, it's so hilarious. Oh my God, Mac lost so much credibility with this launch that I don't even know if they can recover right now. It's gonna take them a while to get back in the good graces of the Sims community and of the online makeup community because we are laughing at them. Oh my God, we're not even laughing behind their back. We're laughing to their face. So that's the first nonsense launch. All right, next up is one that I already did a full video about. This is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette of Volume Dose, okay? This palette, the imagery, the marketing, beautiful, stunning, until we discovered that this is also a re-promoted palette. Not these three shades together in a palette re-promoted, but these three shades have already been launched from the brand. We were expecting to get a palette with deeper, richer shades that are gonna be suitable for deeper, richer skin tones because we have been requesting that for a while now. And I don't know why Hourglass thinks we're out here having to beg them to spend our money. Like, I am gonna pander to you to spend my money? No, dear, not at all not anymore I have washed my hands of hourglass but this launch really upset me because first of all deceptive marketed but on top of that they have two shades that are re-promoted from recent launches like recent palettes we're talking about a palette from holiday 2020 and one from holiday 2019 two of the shades are re-promoted in this palette and then the center shade is a permanent shade are you kidding me are you kidding me? And this retails for $64? No, 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 absolutely not. This, it, no, it, it we, we're not having it, okay? Hourglass is done for a, there, mm -mm. I did a full video, again, I will link it over here so you can check it out, but Hourglass is done. So that is the second one on the chopping block, okay? Moving on, let's talk about this. Let's talk about this. What is Tarte doing with this palette? I literally have it written down here as Tarte's pale thing. They're pale thing. <laughs> so this is the Tartlet Juicy 
Amazonian clay eyeshadow palette. <laughs> How is this juicy, Tart? How is this juicy? So this is a palette of 20 shades, okay? And they say here that their cult classic clay just got juicier with this 20 shade super size eyeshadow palette. When I tell you, I am laughing my ass off. So this palette has romantic neutral pink and plum shades. Where is, where is the plum? Where? This is just pale upon pale upon pale. And I'm like, Lord have mercy. Y'all ain't sick and tired of doing the same old regurgitated pale ass palette. Huh? Huh? What is going on? When are you guys going to diversify? When are you guys going to give us the rich tones that we're looking for? Aren't you sick of being dragged through the mud or through the clay in Tarte's case? Aren't you sick of it? Like first it was your Shape Tape foundation range. What in all heavens was that? And now you keep releasing these palettes? What? What? <laughs> you know what? I'ma leave y'all alone. This is why I haven't bought from Tarte in years because what? What? <laughs> this is what they keep releasing. Are they serious? Oh my God, I know Tarte is supposed to be a more natural, more lightweight brand, but you know, in order for darker skin beauties to enjoy your palettes, you're gonna need to have to do a little bit more depth, toss in a little bit more chocolate hair. I don't know what they're doing, but I thought this palette was just hilarious. And they already had a palette, what was that? The Aspen o Nova Ovard, Ovard? I don't know her name. All I know is her first name is Aspen and she released a pale ass palette and now this is part two. But what do we expect from Tarte at this time? I don't know. I don't know what we can expect, but this is complete nonsense. All right, let's talk about this YSL lip thing. <laughs> what I literally put down, the lip thing from YSL. So this is the YSL Beauty Rouge Sore Mazur. I don't know, okay? All I know is it's an electronic device okay that has three lipstick pods in there and you're supposed to be able to control it with your with an app on your phone I guess and create your own custom lipstick shade now initially that sounds fantastic fabulous like what are we doing yes mix my own custom shade and then you really think about it and you realize that excuse me this device is $299 okay and includes two sets of colors so they have red nude orange and fuchsia so you're gonna get two sets of shades and then each of the sets so you get three pods in the set and those are gonna retail for $100 so on top of the $300 price point for the device then you're gonna pay $100 for the little lipstick inserting and then it's gonna tell you that you can create your custom shade from a shade wheel or a shade match depending on I guess your outfit or whatever a photo whatever okay and it creates this custom shade from an app uh, what what now look at this device where is it's not like it creates the color where is it putting the color when it creates it I don't know either way it's mixing up the three shades and then you got to it's a whole situation, okay? Is YSL stupid? I want to understand. Like, I know they're in the boardroom like, yeah, this is innovative. This is so awesome. And I'm like, re you thought this was, you thought that you were doing something, right? I am sure there are going to be people that are going to buy this because curiosity killed a cat, right? But let me tell you, satisfaction is not going to bring them back because I don't know what the hell this is. If you are that type of person that wants to mix your own custom shade, you can just buy a couple of lipsticks and do it yourself. Why do you need this to, you know what? <laughs> I see where they were going. It, the execution was just crap because I don't know. Listen, okay? I am over it, but I thought this was another nonsense release. All right, we're going to wrap up with the last one. Here I have ABH Clear Stuff. <laughs> so, Anastasia Beverly Hills, they backed down on their releases in 2020 because they got a lot of flack in 2019 for just releasing way too many products and they took a step back. They were like, no, we're not gonna, mm, we're not gonna release anything. And then as soon as 2021 started, they were like, oh, by the way, here we have some clear things for you. <laughs> oh, child, this is their iced out collection. So there is a highlighter, a clear lip gloss, and a clear brow wax. Uh, this is this <laughs> this is how you decided to come back 
with this foolishness are you serious okay i you know what a clear lip gloss a clear lip gloss a clear lip gloss listen abh's lip gloss formula is not even that great because it's thick and goopy so i don't know why they think anybody wants a clear lip gloss from them when we can go to the drugstore and get a three dollar lip gloss that is clear that do the same damn thing it's a gloss it's a gloss like the only thing that you need from a gloss is for it to be shiny and non-sticky and abh is definitely not that so you can get a clear gloss in the drugstore and be happy with that you do not need the abh one so that is nonsense in and of itself and then they released this clear brow wax now if they had released this wax years ago i would have been like hmm that makes sense because they're a brow company but with this collection it just looks so stupid because it's pretty much edge control for your brows because it's not like um who is it again patrick ta his brow wax where you put a little water in there you activate it you create like the salt brow situation this is an actual like pomade type product it really does look like edge control if you've seen anybody review this if you've seen them use it it's literally edge control the same edge control that i'm over here using to sleep these Ooh, my edges be swoop child mm. But the same edge control that I am using to sleek these edges down mm, 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 is the same one she's using for your brows. Why can't I just buy an edge control and do that since that's what you want me to do? Because this is accomplishing nothing extra, okay? The same edge control that I'm using, I could use that for my brows. Hmm, maybe I should try. No, I don't want that because I don't even like that laminated brow. Why are people pasting their eyebrows down to their skin? They're gonna look back years later and probably laugh at themselves because it kind of looks ridiculous. It's cute, you know, maybe I'll laugh at my own brows later on, you know, but here's the thing. I don't want to do laminated brows. I don't want to do those feather brows where the things are like stuck to my face. Like it, <laughs> it looks, it, you know what, let me shut up because to each their own, you may love that style. Good for you, good on you. Everybody is allowed to like explore and experiment. It ain't for me though, okay? And I am definitely not getting this edge control to slick my brows down. Where am I going? Where am I going? ABH, what kind of nonsense is this? And then they released the highlighter. Oh, but it's the Amrezy type of highlighter. That's the formulation that they're using, the same one that they use for the Amrezy highlighter, but now in a white. Uh, uh, I guess I should say a white gold. Come to find out the formulation is not even the same as the Amrezy one. I heard that this one is a little bit more glittery, a little softer, so it's not as mm, like a big gelée, it's not as smooth as the Amrezy highlighter. So what am I supposed to do with this? Hmm? 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 If you are dark skin, where are you going with this ashiness? Where are you going? I don't care what they say. This will never be a universal shade. And that's what they tout it as. A universal. Which part of this universal? A summon or something, Brenda. Don't know what I'm talking about. How is this universal? Have you ever put a shade this light and white and gold on a darker skin tone? Hmm? I'm telling you right now, that's gonna leave such a cast on my skin tone, it would look ridiculous. And I don't need y'all to see my highlighter marks. That's like having visible panty lines. Like, is that what we're doing? No, we're not doing that. I think this is such a crappy release. How is this your first release after a year of hiatus? Like, what? This, this, is, this is what you thought you were gonna come kill the game with such nonsense so i thought i could just come on here and laugh with you guys about these five launches that had me just laughing to myself like are they serious did they think about this before they launched it did they pass this by anybody else or was norvina like busy just smoking pot and then she decided smoke weed when i don't call it pot she smoked the ganja and decided to yo this is a great idea and somebody over ysl is definitely snipping something white because i don't know what that lip thing is Okay, I just don't know. And for Tarte, there's something in that clay. I don't know what it is, but it's not okay. And MAC has kind of lost their way. They're never gonna be that cool it girl anymore. They're definitely a brand for makeup artists and just people that want go-to classic shades because whoo, that launch was tragic. And Hourglass, we're not even gonna start with them because I already dragged them or I can't. I can't do it anymore. So let me know what you guys think of these launches. Like, what is going on? And if you'd like to see more of these quick videos that are not necessarily
literally just shopping blocks but they're like a spin-off of a shopping block let me know and I will keep doing them because these are some real nonsense launches that I just needed to laugh at the foolishness I'm gonna go ahead and leave links to my Instagram and Twitter where you can follow me along and until my next video which will be very soon I'll talk to you <laughs> bye guys Thank <laughs> you.